Hello everyone, I think that was a very slow uh, entrance when I came towards <laughs> introducing myself and we already know who I am, my name is The Summoner and uh, it's been a long time since I've uploaded a video, probably two to three weeks now, been busy with a lot of stuff and the discussion I try to discuss about is like characters in game. Oh boy, let me tell you something right now. Let's talk about Ash. Is Ash a carry for your team? I don't think so. I'm gonna have to say my honest opinion here. I'm gonna have to say no. Because Ash will not do a lot of damage as you might think he does. I think Platina does, oh boy, does a lot more damage than Ash does. Ash does support damage if that makes sense more support ad damage his blind is very important when it comes down to certain boss fights because the blind actually allows a chance to be missed or a hit to actually miss so what does that mean when you say it like that i mean it i mean some games when you like see like a miss with an attack like for an example <clears throat> Let's take this goblin for an example for the event that's happening with the goblin slayer. When he grabs like what he's doing right now, if he's blind, and when it comes down to the slamming down of your character, that's a miss of an attack sometimes. Now all the time, it's very hard knowing what's going to be a miss. He can still grab, slam you, and miss, but that's great and everything, but that's... eh. It's still good. I mean, Ash just still has a role that makes him really important when it comes down to DPS. I think Elf Archer does a lot more damage. Platina does a lot more damage than him. And he's just there for like, hey guys, I'm here to just keep you guys safe as much as I can. But relatively does quite a bit of damage in return. But not as much as comparing to the two characters I have at the moment. The thing is, though, with Ash, he can carry in a way but it will take him a long time to carry it'll take him quite a bit it'll be like mm, well you know i i could do it but i really can't at the same time it's just gonna take a long time for me to do so so it's best to actually find someone else that can do a lot more damage than him i have latina at the moment because i want break dance uh, breaking and she's really good and especially with the fate with certain bosses. Oh, so good so Platina does a lot more damage when it comes down towards her true art Her true art allows her to faint the enemy and does a whole bunch of freaking damage when it comes down to it So now the goblin slayer or the goblin is blinded and he doesn't miss an attack and right there is the blindness right at the very middle when you see this icon, that means the enemy is blinded or one of your units are blinded. And so when they're blinded, they have a high chance of missing their attacks. Well, depends. I honestly, it depends on what the character can do when his blind goes off. Right now, I have Ash stacked with blind at the moment. I have two blind items, and then currently I have it with this true art with blind. He, he's, this guy will make the bosses freaking miss constantly and he's really great at that honestly it's like no one's gonna take a lot of damage here because you know the boss is gonna take a lot of uh blinds pretty much and now watch platina she does so much damage here all right here we go and it, she's not even having crit on her at the moment bada bing okay i guess uh, crit does a lot more damage with her i don't know i i thought i saw her do a lot more damage than anything maybe the high elf uh High Elf Bow Girl does a lot more damage. It seems like it. Look at that. Bam! Kaboom! See, this is why I love the High Elf Archer. Because of this right here. Gives everyone crit damage. She does a lot of damage. She's almost nearly like Vox. The only thing between her and Vox is that Vox does out damage her by quite a bit. And what I mean by quite a bit is like he does a lot of freaking damage. So does the Elf Archer. But they're almost the same. Just, you know, Vox is going to beat her in a lot of ways. Vox gives her, gives everyone on the team increased stat bonus. Gives everyone critical uh, chance. Then, on top of that, he builds his art a lot faster than Elf Archer. But if you have someone that can help Elf Archer 
girl like get her art engage up fast it's good to go she's great she doesn't need help and she could carry your team and no problem the reason why i wanted her is because that reason right there everyone gives a crit from her and her true art the reason why I haven't limit break her is because I feel like there could be something else I want to be limiter breaking on. Uh, we're get losing track. I keep wanting to talk about all these other characters because there's a lot to talk about. Then there's not a lot to talk about at the same time. This game doesn't have a lot to do. You're pretty much in the endless grinding of doing the same thing over and 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 over again. Constantly. And it gets boring. And I talk about this in every freaking video that I ever put out. Please, put Guild Wars. Put something that involves PvP. People that don't want to join, they don't need to join. It's just there for someone that gets bored playing the same thing over and over again. And also, just doing the same thing over and over again. It gets boring. It really does. It's, there's not enough content to be thrown out there for you to do that content. You know what I'm saying? Guild can benefit you in a long way. This is an endless grind, and putting something to occupy you throughout this grind is guilds. Now, Ash, let's talk about Ash again. I keep getting sidetracked, I'm very sorry. You know, when you're doing something and then you want to say something else, you kind of just blur that out. And I like to do that a lot. So, Ash is a great character. I just don't think he could carry that great that people want to hype him up to be. When he hypes up towards like, yeah, dude, this character could really carry your team. It's like, no, he, like, he, I guess he can. It just, it's not going to be a very great carry compared to most characters. When you have most characters, they carry really hard. They could go quick through the dungeon really fast. Ash, Ash got to take his time. He, he'll make sure that the team stays alive because of his constant blinding. And then at the same time, it's just, if you have nothing for him... It's going to be a very slow grind. Is it worth having Ash? Should I have Ash? Should I pick up Ash? The answer is yes and no. And if let's go through no. If you're looking for Ash to carry a team, like I said before, don't bother. Don't pick up this character for that reason. You feel like this character is going to carry your team because he's not. Unless you have a team that based off around him, build, help him get crit up, uh, help him get his art engage up and all that stuff, then it's not worth it. Yeah, he has a way to build his own art engage. Yes, he has a way to get his own crit up. And that's because of his constant blinding. Now, how often does the blind go off? It goes off enough to know that you're not going to get hurt from a boss or the enemy team. It doesn't go off enough or it doesn't stay on enough for him to actually use his true art to do quite a bit of damage because as soon as you get at the end of animation that crit or that blind I should say goes off and does the crit and then there you go there goes your entire damage it just cut in half for, because of that reason that's why Ash in my opinion can't be a carry in that way unless you have like I said you have a team that's based around Ash like Someone that can either blind, someone that can help him build crit, someone that can actually get his art engage up fast, someone that can do... He has a lot, he needs a lot of help with all these things. And that's the issue. He's a great support AD, but not of, wow, he's, oh, he's carrying my... No, I, I played enough bosses to know that he can't do that. Like, there's no way. Even the simplest ones, he can't do that. Now, however, there is one boss... That he's great at doing and that is the most complex boss in this freaking game even ash has a, or i'm sorry even vox has a hard time beating and that is that girl that they released way back in may in 2019 and i don't know the dungeon's name it's pretty much like she reduces your stats and everything and your health and your max health and it's cut down to 2000 this is where ash comes into play one he can blind the boss pretty much when the boss is blinded, the boss can't really do anything towards your characters. Just like how any other bosses that you verse. Now, unless this boss has blind resistance, then Ash is no good at that point. But this boss does not have blind resistance. 
it just has a very reduced debuff stat reducing blah 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 and that's it that's what makes that boss so hard is the fact that they could stat reduce your entire crew into nothing i'm gonna play one more dungeon i'm sorry like i'm talking and then you know we we usually stick around towards how many stam i have left and this is pretty much the last one here oh no please i don't want to look at this oh come on now I forgot there was one here. I'm very sorry. I guess we'll just skip. Oh, okay. That wasn't so bad. I thought that was going to be terrible. I forgot which ones had the long cinematics on them, and I just didn't want to sit through that. But, Ash, eh. Pick him up if you want. If you really want to see what he could really do. I honestly do love the character, but I feel like he's not the carry that you want him to be. Um, sorry, this is my drink. You know, sometimes I just ramble, ramble, ramble on. I'm very shy. Um, but the best carries will probably lead to another time. I just want to talk about Ash because I used Ash a lot and I have a lot of like crystals on me that I'm saving probably for the next event. Maybe there's a really good character that's going to pop out, but don't waste your crystals on characters that think that you're going to get. You're probably not going to get it. I waste so many crystals trying to get one character that I figured that I should get right away. I didn't. I really didn't. I, um, when you throw your crystals at these characters, you just want to make sure that you're saving it up to something that you really want. And usually it's event characters. They're really easy to get and they do a lot better than the normal characters that you have in this game. Except for, you know, obviously the Blood Knights. The Blood Knights are far better than any character that I've seen so far. At least I, at least I think Vox is the best character that I've seen so far. Vox is just that I'm gonna carry this team. It, you know the team doesn't really need to help me. I, I'm just here to just carry you throughout this uh, annoying moment that you have a certain boss or uh, you know raid boss, whatever. You know raid bosses could be really uh, hard to beat. <clears throat> if you don't have like a good team. Alright guys, I hope you have a fantastic day. Sorry for slowly putting out videos and everything. And bye-bye.